Welcome to day 22 of 44 days of transforming grief. So if you haven't heard the story, six years ago, over the holidays in 2010, I hosted 44 radio shows with 27 guests coming on to the shows and talking about their experiences with grief and loss and change and how they were able to transform those feelings, to feel it all and to transform. So today, show 22, the title is The Art of Grieving. My guest was Claire Perkins. And if you wanna check out her website, um, I am gonna post it there, but it is claireperkins.com. Claire's son, um, struggled throughout his life with ADHD, was then addicted to alcohol, and finally crystal meth, which he died of as with an overdose in when he was 26 years old. Well, as Claire talked about on the show, this was something that um, her son struggled with all of his life. And Throughout the, um, the show, Cher, Claire shared the journey, which she actually has written a book about. Here's the cover, and it's called The Deep Water Leaf Society, Harnessing the Transformative Power of Grief. Some of the things that Claire shared on the show was how she uh, used different tools and techniques she used um, expressive arts, which art and journaling come under that category. And then she also used dreams that she had to write about her dreams, to use art with her dreams, and then to follow synchronicity, to slow down and pause and listen to the signs, notice the places where people and resources and insights cross. Yeah, so take a breath on that one. And um, two things that she shared that I'm going to share here, and then I encourage you to go listen to the radio show. One is the power of using collage. So when she talked about art and journaling, she would um, ask a question or just flip through a magazine to see what pictures, what words were popping out at that time? Where did she feel a stirring? You know, for me, it might feel like a buzzing in my body somewhere when I would come across or like a, a knowing, a, an aha. And she would then create collage and write about that and that that was one of the, the big tools that she used for healing. And then the other one that um, was asking a question and listening for an answer. And the way that she did that was she would pick up a pen with her dominant hand for writing. So let's say you are right-handed. And so she would write a question with her right hand. And then she would switch the pen to the left hand and just start to write an answer. And it activated another part of her brain. It activated something within her. All right, so enjoy the show. Um, the radio show link is going to be up there in just a moment. And I will see you tomorrow for day 23. So today is day 22 of 44 days of transforming grief. And um, I also want to put here that the 30 days of writing that I do every January for Heal My Voice is beginning in um, on January 1st. You can sign up now. The link is there. And I want to encourage you to, to realize that or to think about this. The daily prompts that I put into the group every day, some people use them for writing. Some use them for meditating or reflecting. Some use them to create art, like to use it as an inspiration to create art or to do a collage, to dance, to create music. So the prompts, although we've called them writing prompts, are also a place for you to use to stimulate creativity. 
And that's really what this show, what Claire was sharing with us, the power of art to heal. All right. Thank you. See you tomorrow.